Power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. Lord Acton. I reject that famous quote. It is not that power corrupts. It is that the corrupt seek power. There are only two kinds of people in this world. Those that want to be left alone and those that won't leave you alone. The bad guys you clearly see are people that just won't leave humanity alone. They spread debt and death throughout the world by selling lies to get billions of individuals to control others. But it is also the people in your life that make you miserable. When you truly understand this, you realize that the only good guy is in the mirror. You are the only one that cares about you, and everyone else is out for themselves. Only you can be immune to the outside manipulators by becoming educated and developing your logical skills. The worst part of any collective organization is that the most power hungry and willing to do the most unsociable thing always rise to the top of any collective organization. This allows them to concentrate power and wealth to the few aggressive people at the top. This collectivist system is a fundamental reason why we are in the mess that we are in. Look at the quality of our politicians and CEOs, and I bet that you would not trust any of them to run your family business or your personal affairs or even watch your children. Before, I have no recollection whatsoever. <laughs> the real answer is I, I don't know. I, 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 I really don't. I then stumbled across a four-step process that I did to become free of the manipulative and controlling environment I used to live in. The most potent weapon of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. Stephen Biko. The first thing I had to do was use logic to rid myself of toxic thoughts that either kept me down or stuck inside of the paradigm. We are our own worst enemies. We hold ourselves back from a greater life with our negative thoughts and lack of logic. We are also our best cheerleader. When you have the confidence in thought and in action to do whatever we put our mind to, this is a battle of our consciousness. We have to decide, are we going to be that free-spirited child full of curiosity and fearlessness, or are we going to be an abused person full of doubt and toxic thoughts? Once you have control over your thoughts, you are able to have the confidence to get rid of the toxic people in your life that probably put those toxic thoughts in your head in the first place. These people are hurt people that seek to control others. They are the ones that you dread getting the call from. They are the ones that have nothing good to say. They are the ones that you have to walk on eggshells until you find out what kind of mood they're in. They literally suck the life out of you, and the only way to deal with them is to shun them. They cannot be rationalized with. They will never seek help because they know it all. You simply need to disassociate yourself from them immediately. There is another benefit to this. You will naturally find that you are surrounded by other happy, positive people who will support you and care for you. This is a huge turbo booster in your detoxifying process, as you will be much happier and freer to take on more challenges. The third step is to get rid of toxic investments, which in this paradigm are debt-based paper assets that are loaded with counterparty risk. I cover this extensively in the Silver Bullet and the Silver Shield, but essentially every single paper asset is based on an unsustainable Ponzi scheme that is about to collapse. And worse, they have no intrinsic value. The only value they have is the ability of a counterparty to pay. When this collapse happens, people will learn that counterparty risk is the most important term nobody talks about. You need to put your wealth in real tangible items that are valuable because of their usefulness. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. The final step of ridding yourself of a toxic life is getting rid of toxic careers and efforts. This is when you stop enabling those that seek to enslave you with debt and lies and you start doing something that has real tangible value to others and resonates with something deep inside of you. This is when you can do something that resonates with you and you find happiness in providing real value to others. You will start seeing that work is actually fun. Another problem I saw in the awakening process is that everybody's talking about right now and no one's talking about the context of what's going on. How many articles and interviews do you really need to hear about what Ben Bernanke is doing or going to do? What is missing is the context of, the, of what powerful money manipulators have done in the past and that they are following the exact same playbook that is millennia old. If you don't understand the history of currency destruction and what it does to societies and the people who profit off of destroyed societies, most people will pass off current news as some sort of Charlie Brown teacher talking. I felt that if I can make the awakening process more formalized, it could provide the context for what's going on in the news today and it would help speed up the conscious awakening that humanity needs to go through to break the debt and death paradigm so we can stop repeating history. I also understood that another roadblock in the awakening is that no one likes to be told that they're wrong. This is why so many personal interventions fail unless people hit rock bottom. I felt that if I could organize the information in a logical way where people could learn without an assault on their ego, the truth stood a greater chance of being heard. People are far more likely to watch a video on their own time when they're ready 
than an ill-timed personal intervention. I also felt small videos broken up into single thought elements put into building a logical order would be the best format, so I started to build the Sons of Liberty Academy. I started to enter the final stage of the awakening, which is acceptance, when I clearly saw the reality that we were living in and accepted it for what it is without emotional attachment to it, I became more of an observer of it. By knowing where the story is going and knowing how to best position myself and my family for the end of this story, you can actually start looking forward to the paradigm shift instead of fearing it. When you reach the acceptance stage, you realize that you don't have to save people because you can't. You realize that you don't have to push your ideas onto others because that is really no different than those that seek to manipulate others with their propaganda. You have to be of the opposite consciousness on every level of your life. You need to walk away from the paradigm withdrawing your time, energy, and money to defeat the debt and death paradigm. Another benefit of walking away is that it's much more effective waking up people. If I push you, you're going to push me back. When you push your ideas on somebody, they're going to react defensively. It's natural. But when you reach the acceptance stage, you can walk your path in peace. And all those people who would not listen before that are stuck in denial, anger, bargaining, and depression will finally stop and ask what you've got going on and how you made yourself so peaceful. Only then, when you have made this full awakening journey, can you be a blessing onto others. Only then can humanity start becoming its highest and best self. So here I was with all this powerful information in the Sons of Liberty Academy. It had 48 hours of video lessons tying together all the historical, financial, philosophical, moral, and even spiritual problems of humanity, and providing a clear solution for humanity to go through the five stages of awakening and reach the level of acceptance that I have found. The Academy is an intellectual assault on the debt and death paradigm and an intellectual foundation on a more sustainable and resonating paradigm. I consider this my life's work. Now all I had to do was get the world to see it. In order to do that, I had to take a leap of faith. I prefer dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery. Thomas Jefferson When I left New Jersey, I was very lucky to find a six-figure job as a director of operations for an internet marketing firm that specialized in helping investors invest in foreclosed property. The information we taught did not personally interest me, but I soon saw how information could be marketed I felt my information was vastly more powerful and it had allowed me to make millions by avoiding the housing and stock market collapse. So I decided to sell my Sons of Liberty Academy. I was mildly successful selling the Academy and the responses from those that had joined have been overwhelmingly positive. I have never had one person ask for their money back even though I have had a 90 day money back guarantee. I even had a grandmother buy five Academy memberships for each of her grandchildren when I contacted her about the order, which I thought she had made in error, she told me that she loved it so much that she said that it was the greatest gift she could give to her grandchildren. I said thank you, and I even said that she could simply have given her kids her password, but she said that I deserved to be rewarded for all the effort that I put into it. While I was happy with the response and the money it was generating, something was gnawing at me as it was not right. One of my biggest supporters wrote me at the exact time I was feeling this gnawing feeling. He came to me about this crazy idea of just giving the academy away for free to everyone. I had six years and $30,000 invested in this academy, and he wanted me to give it away for free. This is what he wrote. Believe in yourself. The USA needs the Sons of Liberty Academy sooner rather than later, or I'm afraid this great country will take a serious turn for the worst. I truly believe what you have to say could make the difference in giving our country and our constitution a chance of surviving what is headed our way. I then asked myself, what is the quickest way to spread an idea? Give it away for free. After all, that is exactly what the elite do in their mainstream media. I knew the Academy had tremendous value and is by far the best weapon against the elite. The Academy destroys all the deceptions the elite use to enslave us. It leaves no stone unturned, and it is the most comprehensive plan to turn around the world. Giving the Academy away is the best way to get the message of freedom out to as many people as possible while we still have time. I then spoke to another Academy member who is a military contractor that was currently working in Afghanistan. He told me the Academy saved his life. He knew as soon as he went through it, he could no longer do what he was doing, knowing what he knows now. He told me that he committed inhuman acts while justifying it that he was supporting his family. But now he saw he was ultimately enabling the elite that would seek to enslave us all. I told him that was the sick and genius part of the elite system. You become so dependent on the system, you actually defend the system. Even though I had been brought up in a very shark-like mentality environment, and I swam very fast in that environment, I knew that I had to walk away in order to give myself a fresh start. I walked away from millions of my family business for two reasons. First, I saw that the business was going to collapse, and five months later it did. 
The second reason was I wanted out of my shark-like mentality that was so pervasive in my life. I literally walked away from everything to make a fresh start. My business, my family, my contacts, my life, all to move to rural Ohio and start a new life with my young and growing family. The real change for me came from leaving the shark mentality and entering into this new mentality of abundance. The abundance mentality is about giving your all and you will receive far in excess in return than you could possibly gain in being a shark. It took me two years in this new life to really sink in and embrace this abundance mentality. So one day I took my leap of faith. I quit my six-figure job that I was lucky to get in Cleveland, Ohio, and give away my life's work, which was the Sons of Liberty Academy. What would you have done in my shoes? What if you had something so special and you spent so much time and effort on, would you give it away? I guess the real question is, what would you do if the American Revolution started tomorrow? Would you answer the call? Would you leave your comfortable world to step out into the unknown? Would you do the right thing even when everyone else is telling you don't do it? Would you expose and endanger yourself so that others can have a shot at really living? Zbigniew Brzezinski recently did a speech about how the elite fears a massive global awakening. I'm deeply troubled that a very vague, emotionally stated, semi-theologically defined diagnosis of the central global menace is obscuring our national ability to comprehend the historically unprecedented challenge which is being posed in our time by a massive global political awakening and thus is obstructing our ability to deal effectively with the global political turmoil that this awakening is generating. And these new and old major powers face still yet another novel reality, in some respects unprecedented. And it is that while the lethality, the lethality of their power is greater than ever, their capacity to impose control over the politically awakened masses of the world is at a historical low. I once put it rather pungently, and I was flattered that the British Foreign Secretary repeated this as follows. Namely, in earlier times, it was easier to control a million people, literally. It was easier to control a million people than physically to kill a million people. Today, it is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. It is easier to kill than to control. How cool would it be to almost overnight break through to millions of people all over the world and infect their minds with life-changing ideas of freedom? To be able to show the entire playbook of the elite so that no one was ever fooled by their games again? To show the world the crimes against humanity by the few elite that control our paradigm? To be able to systematically and speedily take people through the five stages of awakening? To teach people how our debt money system is a rigged game and not to play with it? to give away the blueprint of a leaderless resistance, to really hack at the root of our problems, our thinking. So I took my leap of faith and made my entire life's work, the Sons of Liberty Academy, away for free on a member site at sonsoflibertyacademy.com. My hope is that more people will join and see the tremendous value and how it can change their life. Ideas don't happen on their own. Throughout history, ideas need patrons. Even though 30,000 people have successfully joined the Sons of Liberty Academy on its private member site, I will now be releasing the Sons of Liberty Academy videos on YouTube every day. You can join the Sons of Liberty Academy at any time at sonsoflibertyacademy.com and see the full 48 hours of video lessons and hundreds of supporting documents at sonsoflibertyacademy.com. You simply have to enter your name and email and then click the Gandhi link for free and full access to the Academy. Register a new username and password and you can start right away. If it is something that you like or find interesting, recommend it to your friends and family. It's free.